Play my music. All right, thank you. How's it going, y'all? Poke Flash here. So I wanted to show y'all a very awesome gaming chair. I'm going to put it together, and y'all probably wonder, where is the gaming chair? Okay, let's go ahead and summon it. Kapow! All right, there it is. EC Life Massage Gaming Chair. Now, I usually don't use the massage feature, but it's available in case anybody wants to use it. But for me, I just use it to mainly to recline and it has a nice little footrest. So let's go ahead and pop this box open here so we can start building this guy. All right, so we got the box open and it looks like, ooh, they did a very good job patting it out and giving it some nice cushion here. As you can see, this little guy is a good little cushion for it. Go ahead and throw that, there you go. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and pull out all the pieces here. So obviously, this is for your bottom. This will be where for you the part for you to sit. So let's put this guy down. We'll need you in just a little bit. Pop all these guys out. These are the armrests. So leave it right there. And there you go, the big part. Here's the back, and for your headrest as well. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I believe this is look like that's for the footrest. Okay, and these are for the wheels, the legs. Alright, got all these out. And let's see what else. Okay, here's the actual wheels. Now what I'm really curious about is if they included some tools, which is always helpful if they do that. So, okay, so let's pop the box down here. We good there. All right, so there's some good pieces. So this is all what it looks like, what it comes with. There's your armrest again. This is the little swivel for the footrest. And let's see what else we got. And looks like they didn't give us tools, y'all, to use. Goodness gracious. Oh, uh, maybe they didn't. Oh, they did. They did. Okay, there we go. I see it. My mistake. All right, so we got all the wheels, tools are in here. So I would say start with this first. You wanna get the tools out, obviously, because you're gonna need that. So here's all the wheels. And one, two, three, four, five wheels, good. And there we go, good. And there's our screw, couple of Allen wrenches. All right, good. Probably be a good spot to put this box right there. So I can put all this nice paper in there and plastic. All right. So no instructions whatsoever. That's the first thing you should always look for, instructions. And looks like they didn't give any instructions. At least I don't see it. Did I miss it somewhere? Wow. Nope. I don't see any instructions. All right. Well, luckily, I've built one of these before, so I understand what's going on. So it looks like we are going to just take it from the top here and just start building this thing. All right. So we got this part out here. All right, we can leave this down for now. So I think to start off with, it will be good to get the wheels together. So let's start with that. So let's get this guy going. All right, so we pop this one out. There's all the wheels. I think it would be smart to start with this. That way, we have a base. And then you can just start building on top of it. All right, so there's that. Pop all these guys out. Okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. All right, nice little star. Okay, so we put that there. Each of the wheels, again, I've got zero instructions, so I'm going based upon memory, and some of it is obvious, because you can see this is the wheels, and this is the base for it, so all you have to do is pop each of the wheels in, 
So we'll go ahead and get that done. All right, good. Now I got all the wheels on. Let's move this aside for now. We'll kind of roll a little bit. Oh. That's incredible. Y'all hear that? Wow, that's reversing. Wow, simply incredible. All right, so we got that done. So now let's see next thing here let's get this out so i can see everything that i have all right so there's this one put that part there start unwrapping all of these guys all right again these are the armrests we can just put that aside there all right good good and let's get this guy unwrapped all right so I know this goes at the bottom because this is where you adjust the height and your ability to recline. All right. So I got these and then let me unwrap the, these other parts here. So there's the back. So we got the back there and then the seat is there. These two are the cushions. One is for your lower back. Oh, which is this one? This was the lower back cushion. You can see right here, here's the plug to use the massage if you're interested in that. All right. Okay, so this guy goes right on top. So let's go ahead and put this guy right on there. I need to push down a little bit. Okay, good. So we got down. Okay. It's not completely sealed. I believe there may be a screw. Let's see, to seal it at the bottom. All right, might not need it. I'll mess around with that later. But I definitely know, obviously, this guy is necessary to place everything else on top. Okay, so this is for the back. And let's see, let me get the... Okay, everything else is pretty obvious. I see what's going on here. So let's get the seat together. I'll unwrap this. All right. There we go. Nice seat, blue and black. And now we need to figure where the screw, okay, I see the screw. So this, okay, this is obviously the back. Cause you can see right here, here's the chair, not the chair. Yeah, the, uh, the back of the chair goes there. So I see four screws and I see four connectors. So now all I have to do, looks like I'm gonna have to unscrew these. Okay, well, at least they gave us the Allen, right? And it looks like this one uses the, yep, this one uses the big one. All right, let's get to unscrewing, y'all. All right, one correction. So it looks like neither one of these Allen wrenches that came with it. Now, to my credit, I did get this on eBay, so it's possible the person that packaged it together might not have gave the original tools that came with it. But I always come prepared. So I've got another Allen wrench here which should fit, and it does. So yes, let's go ahead and screw, unscrew this guy. All right, so I got them all off. Now, obviously what you'll see is this distance is a bit shorter than the distance between these two holes. So that lets you know how to line them up. So all I gotta do is pop them up right there. Now, the tricky part is two ways you can do this. You can come around like this and screw them, or you can flip it over, put it on the floor. I'm just going to come around because that's going to be easier. And then obviously start it with your hand. So I got them all connected here, so they're all hand tight. Now I need to just use the Allen wrench, but don't make it super tight because it can start stripping the screws and it just causes a disaster. Just you know when to stop. When you start to feel a little bit of tightness, where you're struggling a little bit, 
That's when you need to stop. All right, so I got these guys tight enough, so this is good. All right, so next I would do, hmm, let's see. All right, let's put this little back piece on here. That lines up. Yes, it does. Pretty lines up, so I'm going to show you all. So basically, all you're doing is line up the four holes. All right, need to make a correction here. So it's actually not these four screws so let's put that down see this is why it's nice to have the instructions even though i did it already again i'm going off of memory but so and which memory is good sometimes sometimes you remember things but this guy comes with sort of four screws already in there so what i'm gonna have to do is unscrew them and then use the and it comes with a little washer here now i gotta figure out the right direction and i'm thinking yeah this seems right so like that so pop it out yeah, that seems the right direction. So like that. So you got the washer right here. So you're going to have to loosen them and then go back and tighten them to go all the way through. All right. So I'm going to have fun with that. All right. So just to show you how it is before I start screwing it. So this guy needs to slide inside like that. And then you just pass the screw through the hose and tighten it up. And then you're good. All right, so we got it on tight here, as y'all can see. Locked and loaded, ready to go. That's a little jiggling a little bit, so maybe I'll tighten it a little bit more. But obviously, you don't want to have it too tight. It's going to be difficult to come off. Now, the one thing I'm really curious about is these screws right here. I am not sure if they provided the screws for these, but I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. So let's go ahead and pop the back out. And hopefully the screws are in here somewhere. Uh, that would be lovely. But all right, so let's get this all out, take out all the wrap. And I don't hear any screws, but here's the back here, y'all. Uh, oh, good, the screws are inside. Thank goodness, man. I was about to be uh, flipping a biscuit, y'all. But the screws are in here. All right. Thank goodness. All right, so, uh, so now I just need to uh, loosen them out. It's a nice little strap right here, but I just need to loosen all these screws, and it will be good to go. All right, I got all the screws out here. So now this is the moment of truth, y'all, the moment of truth. Let's see if we can stand this up. You won't be able to see me for a little bit while I'm behind here screwing this guy. And then we slide him right in. And then the screws should line up. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. See, what I'm doing is lining it up. This is a nice little strap right here where you can cover up the middle part. But basically all you need to do is line up the holes there that where the screws can go through. So now I got it going sideways here. Maybe y'all can see a bit better. See, this Allen wrench here, it would been nice if it would have came with the box, but it didn't. So this is my own uh, that I had. So I'm just using it, and it works. So all I'm doing is going to be screwing away. All right, so got it all screwed together, y'all. So as you can see, got them all in. So all you got to do is put this back on. Fits like a glove. Now, the one thing I might have me messed up here is there's a little cushion. I can still slide it through. Oh, I see it. Yeah, watch out for that. There's a little cushion right here. You see, I can slide it back, pull it back, and then it straps right on as well. Boy, this is a really nice design. I can just strap it. Uh, let's strap it right there. 
Could do the same with the other. Pull the strap through. All right, and there it is. Sticks right on. All right, good. So the chair is, for the most part, is good. So now I'm gonna put it down so y'all can uh, see a bit more because now I need to put the arms on. So let's make sure it's pretty stable. Yep. But now that bottom part, see right here, this comes off. So you gotta be very careful. You know, make sure to tighten this up. Now this is where the instructions would have been nice. But I mean, technically it's not critical. If you're not gonna be lifting it up like that, you'll be okay. But definitely there's a way to tighten that. And I do not recall that from memory, but at least I get the other parts done. Or you can just hold it from the legs if ever you need to lift it up. And then boom. All right, there we go. I mean, I could just sit down now if I would like. See? But I have no armrest. So now we need to put the armrest on and the footrest as well. But I mean, could, yeah, I could just leave it like this if I wanted to. But nah, of course we're not going to do that. All right, so there's the footrest. This right here, all I would do is just whoop, pop it back right there for your lower back. Or if you're going all the way recline, you can use it for your head as well. All right, so let's get the armrest together, y'all. So now, as you can see, there's a hole right here on the side, on both sides. So that's how you get the armrest together. All right, now it can be kind of tricky to figure out which direction you go with the armrest. Now, looking at this, gosh, it's almost like you could go multiple ways with this. But if you get it incorrect the first time, you can always just flip it around. But all right, so each one, there's two holes, and you're going to need two of these screws. Get them together. comes with these little caps right here so all you have to do with these is pop them on the little holes for the uh, armrest on each well you just screwed it so all you have to do is pop each one of these in and they really did a nice design with this um, just to kind of make it look nice so you can kind of cover it up here so it doesn't look um, out of place all right so now I've got all these covered up here and it might be a little difficult to pop in at first, but boom. All right, there we go. So last, but certainly not least, the footrest. So now again, I'm going to lift it up. Now it's still kind of loose because I haven't tightened that bottom part. But as long as I lift it up by the legs, we are good. So there we go. So we lift that up. And this is where the footrest is. There's two holes here that go through. All right, to put the footrest on, the one thing you want to do is pop out these little rubber cushions first that are on it. So as you can see, there's two of them here. So I just I have them both off. So if not, it's going to be really nearly impossible to put this through. And then after that, you just push them through the two little holes and boom. There you go. That'll let it to slide. Now, this is where you pop these two rubber uh, pieces back on. Might be a little difficult at first. Boom. All right. So got that. Now let's get the other one. Now what these rubber pieces does is stop it from sliding all the way out. So it kind of holds it in place. All right. So we got that through. Good, good. See? Now it slides. Very easily. Now we just need to put the actual footrest on. And this one we're going to... Boom, thank you. Screws are right in here. So now it can be a little tricky at first to get the direction. I mean, obviously, it'll work either way, but let's see how that looks. I'm going to extend it. That's as far as it goes. Flip it back. All right. Well, okay. So I'm going to choose this way. If at first it doesn't look right, I mean, obviously, again, it'll work either way, but you can always come back and redo it.
All right, I got it done, y'all. All done. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit. All right. So all it does is it flips. Boom. 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 And there you go. And then you're able to just push it back through. And boom. And boom. There you go. You're done. Wow. We got through it without the instructions. I mean, the instructions would have made it a little bit easier. But luckily, my memory helped me out for majority of it. So we'll pop it on the floor. Now, this is for the massage thing. If you want to connect it, there's a plug. I usually don't. So I just use it, leave it unplugged. But you can definitely use that if that's something you are interested in. All right. So we are good. Let's have a nice seat here. All right. There's a little red. Oh, that's really nice. So you can really recline quite a bit back oh let's see oh wow yeah this is very comfortable oh yes really comfortable very very comfortable comfortable indeed and then you pop it up then you can latch it see where there we go and then this one allows oh this allows you to go down and then back up all right so we are good we are good to go and then bump there you go all right we got it done we got it done good good thank you very much for watching this is poke flash and y'all enjoy the rest of the day cue my music